In this video, we're going to be checking out this body kit that I developed for the QAVX slash Real ACC X210. Cora here with Crash and Burn Racing, and welcome back to another video. Here is our QAVX210 um, slash Real ACC X210 frame. And if you're familiar with this, you know that the camera is quite exposed in this frame. It's actually quite easy to get damaged, and that really sucks when you're spending, you know, 40 to 50 bucks for a, for a decent camera. So I, I went out and decided there's got to be, you know, an easy way to fix this. And for the camera portion, here's my little bracket right here. It's real simple. Just held on with two screws. They'll go on right here. Like so. Look at this part will go right here. And for the body portion here, uh, I actually designed six different bodies, went through a ton of plastic printing them, and this came out to be uh, the best solution here. It's got a nice big opening here to where everyone can get to their various different stacks of what they got set up here. Still covers it up nicely. You got your hole in the back here to put your, your um, antenna connector to. Got XT60 holder here that presses down on the frame and got some more camera protection here. So, oh, and then one more thing. I did design a version that doesn't have this block right here. This entire area is cut out. So if you run a more of a traditional style VTX, when you mount it here and zip tie it to the top, it will still fit here with this body. So to put this body on, all we're going to do is take off this top plate, these four bolts here. Alright, so we got our top plate off and camera with it. And we don't have to take any of our stack off. We don't have to move any wires. All I have to simply do is just slide our body onto the top. Get the wires out of the way. And, the, and it's just that simple. My biggest goal designing this this body kit was to, uh, of course, protect this camera and to make this as universal as possible, so that anyone can just print this off and throw it right on their quad without having to make any major changes to it. So now that I got that on, I'm gonna go ahead and get this top plate put on, get it connected up. One thing I need to add is that one little change I had to do for this video transmitter plate that I made for DSMX satellite is I did have to file just a tiny little notch into this slot here so that I would actually have enough room for this connector to slide in there so that I could uh, get into my my satellite. I want to add one more thing. I also recessed this nut to hold its spot right here just like that so that when you screw this part on it actually holds um, still so it's really su super easy to do. Alright, so we got our top plate on, our body put in place, and if you're worried about these tabs in here, um, this slot that I put in the front makes it super easy just to put this screwdriver in here, push it out a little bit, and then you do have plenty of room, sorry, do have plenty of room to uh, have a good vision to see what's going on here to get it into that tab, that tab into that slot right there. So that just leaves to put our camera protector on and two screws and there is our body kit put on literally takes three minutes to put on and it does provide excellent protection for your camera doesn't stick out at all and you shouldn't see it anywhere on the sides of your view coming out of this camera here and cover up the sides nice and you still have plenty of access to your USB ports and you know whatever else you got here. Again here's our XT60, our antenna and still has a nice large opening right here to where you can still get to even your SP3 or SP2 video transmitter down in there. So, yeah, if you want to give this a try, the links are down below for, uh, to download from Thingiverse. 
And I want to thank you for watching Crash and Burn Racing.